What you got up there? Music, brother. Hey, the symphony up here. Right we don't know. We got uh, nothing jumped so far. No sign. I'm gonna get something with tea. Is it the good kind or the bad kind here, though? I'm hungry for some fish dip. I know that. Hey guys, Mike McFadden out of Fort Pierce today. We are out with Captain Colton Hester. And man, we got some cool stuff coming your way. With some kind of unique content, man. What are we going out to do today? It's kind of a one of a kind. Um, we're actually going out to view the sinking of a tugboat. It's the, uh, the Singleton Tugboat and the People's Reef Project have come together with uh, the St. Lucie County Chamber of Commerce and they're gonna sink this ship today. So we're gonna see if we can't get out here and go check it out, watch that's, it go down. That's pretty cool, man. I've personally never seen these ships sunk. I've always heard about them, I've always fished them. Artificial reefs that the state puts down that actually grow an ecosystem. They help out the environment. Guys, this is not this is not by any means hurting the environment. It's actually helping the environment, like I said, creating an ecosystem for fishermen, for bottom fishing. We're gonna go out and check it out. Coastal, uh, Coastal Reef is the, uh, the organization behind sinking a tugboat. And what they do is they find these boats that have been commandeered as either um, unsafe or uh, no longer being able to sail. Uh, so for example, if Customs takes them over, uh, they build actual fish uh, houses on them out of concrete, which is supposed to mimic coral. And then they take all the oil, they strip down all the paint, anything that's toxic, they get them ready and they put them on the ocean floor and it makes a habitat for thousands of different fish. And then they're able to actually go back to these wrecks and study what fish are in the area, how they're growing, and really gives us an idea of how is our ecosystem reacting to the water issues or other things that we have in our community. So really it's an excellent research tool, plus it benefits us as fishermen. We get to go catch some fish. Oh, 
Hold it. Blue runner, they can't resist it. So you had that big fat blue runner out there? Yeah, he came up and smoked them. There's some big ones hanging with us. Yeah, I think this one's uh, one of the bigger ones for sure. He gave us an aerial shot here a second ago. We're gonna see if we can't get him to do it again. Back to the buoy. Biggest thing when you're fighting these fish on this light tackle is a light drag. We usually fish about four pounds of drag. And you notice I don't I don't force them, I don't touch it. I let them run, tire themselves out. We actually fight them with the boat. And you see we're kind of driving towards them. Very light line. This is 20 pound line. 10 to 20 pound class star rod. Mono TLD reel. Here he comes. Go for the engines. It's my push. Well, he doesn't know. As long as you got a boat driver, it plays right into your hand. There you go. He's trying the uh, tuna spin on you there for a minute. There you go. Look at that beast. Not what we're looking for, but bent the rod. Okay. You gonna bring them out? Nope. <laughs> Scissors. Thank you, sir. Love it. That's uh, catch and release right there. Catch and release. He gets to eat somebody else's live bait off their sabanki. Got up there, music brother. Hey, the symphony up here. Right now. We don't know. We got uh, nothing jumped so far. No sign. We're gonna get something with tea. Is it the good kind or the bad kind here, though? I'm hungry for some fish dip. I know that. Like you're saying, you know, just take your time with these fish. There's no hurry. A lot of people think it's a race out here. We're not fishing a tournament. We're not being timed right now. Monofilament's gonna give us some nice stretch here. You gotta make sure you're spacing this mono out on the reel correctly, otherwise you get yourself into a bad time. This is a heavy one. As you can see, we got the buoy right over here. So one of the big things, we're trying to keep the fish away from the buoy. There's the boat here. Playing me down and dirty right now. We don't recommend putting your finger on the mono. One of these fish will certainly give you a nice burn, but it can help. High level tactic, working the fit. It's an extra little drag. You don't have to commit with the actual drag itself. This is what fishing's all about right here, the mystery. We got couple boats that we're gonna have to battle on this. Giving them a workout, that's for sure. Look at that. Oh. Nice fish, got ate by a barracuda. That was uh trying to get a complete fish on it. Look at that man, that's uh, that was a decent 
decent kingfish. Yeah, he'll still eat good. Front half of him will eat just fine. <laughs>